Hey everybody, this is Steve Toth from seonotebook.com where I email tips like this on a weekly basis to over 10,000 subscribers, which is a lot. Um, started this two and a half years ago. All right, so today's tip is going to show you how I personally create URLs from blog titles. Now, if this is too basic for you, I do apologize, but I feel like a lot of people would benefit from this today, and um, that's why I made this video. So hopefully you can take something from it. All right, so on the left, um, I've got a bunch of blog titles from FreshBooks, and I don't know if you know my history with FreshBooks, but um, worked there as their SEO manager for a long time, made them a client, put my stamp on that site. Um, and today what I'm going to do is show you how to um, create uh, URLs from these blog topics. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab um, the URL freshbooks.com slash hub because that's where these topics live. And I'm going to put them in column B and I'm just going to uh, put them down for the whole um, for all the rows that are populated here. Then the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use concatenation. So concatenate, and I'm going to concatenate this column with this column. And it's going to <clears throat> autofill for everything for me. So you can see now that um, we have these two columns merged. And the only thing is when I click on this, you can see that it's still the formula there. So I'm going to want to copy all of them then paste them back in place with shift command v right so now when i click on these you can see that it's actually the url there so now i can get rid of column b and um, what else do i have to do i have to replace the spaces with dashes so let's go ahead and do that let's select all that and then say find space and we will open this up and it's got the range selected, find space and replace with dash. That's one of the first things that I'm going to do to create these URLs. And you can see now that we are partially there, right? And the we don't want upper and lower case because those can be treated uh, differently in some um, instances. So what I like to do is I have an extension that will make everything lowercase. Now you can also use a formula for that, but I use this extension to make things sentence case, um, all uppercase, and um, it just makes things easy uh, for me without having to do a formula. So um, I installed it and it's called change case. And I'm just going to go ahead and say all lowercase. And now you can see it's very satisfying to watch everything drop into lowercase. I love watching that. And this, you know, helps us get to the point where we are almost, um, well, we are pretty much at usable um, uh, URLs so far, but, um, you know, we still have some cases here where um, there's a pipe and you're gonna want to uh, um, kind of go through all this. In some cases, you might have question marks um, that you wanna find and replace with um, nothing and just kind of like make sure you clean up um, all the, the things that aren't valid characters. Um, here's another one as well, uh, a colon, you wanna get rid of that, et cetera, and a, an apostrophe, um, get rid of that. You get the picture. Um, all right, so once you have uh, that, you're gonna have to make some judgment calls on um, uh, things that you want to keep in the URL and things that you don't want to keep, okay? So something like this one here, what is construction takeoff and how to do it? You probably don't need how to do it, right, in it. So I would just say, get rid of that. What is construction takeoff? Generally, what you need to do is um, simplify your URLs so that a person can tell what the blog is going to be about just by reading the URL and not have to go into you know too many extra details, right? So um, if it's uh, let's say let's see, ten unique and successful business ideas from around the world, you could just say something like unique business ideas, right? 
And I never like putting 10 in there because I might add to some later if I refresh this content, which you should be doing with all your content. So I'm just going to say for this one, um, 10 unique or just unique business ideas. You kind of get the picture um, once you have um, that, you know, all sort of outlined. Um, you just want to go with the basic stuff, right? So, um, yeah, you know, just simplify your, your URLs. So once um, you have that, you've pretty much gone from blog titles to very good URLs. This would probably take me about 10 minutes to, to go through and um, edit the URLs to make them, you know, quick and succinct. And then once you have that, um, just the last little bonus tip, uh, I'm going to show you how you can easily um, outline your internal links, right? So let's say you launch these 10 blogs at once and you've got this one called um, what is credit card churning. Um, you can use the transpose feature to say this credit card churning blog should link to uh, these three blogs and I'm just going to close that and now um, these, uh, it's going, you know, give instructions to your writer to include li internal links to these, uh, blogs. So if you also want to get rid of the, um, formula there, you can uh, copy that and then paste that in place. And then basically you're just, you would create another, um, uh, row here to say internal links. Just kind of go like that. And then the writer will know to, to do all these at once. So if you are um, uh, releasing all these blogs, um, if you're getting these blogs written at new and you're linking to URLs that don't exist yet, you're going to want to publish them all at the same time. But um, I'm actually a big fan of that. And uh, I don't think there's any reason not to publish a lot of content at the same time. Um, so that's pretty much the tip is um, going through uh, blog titles and making them URLs. So I hope you found it useful. Um, and just to recap, we're going to first concatenate um, the website slash blog with the title. Then we're going to replace um, the spaces with dashes. Then we're going to make everything lowercase. And then we're going to make the URLs more succinct than the titles. So anything that runs too long, we're just going to make it more succinct. So that's pretty much the tip. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too basic for you, but I feel like a lot of people could benefit. So that's why I wanted to do this one. This is uh, Steve Toth from SEO Notebook. Um, if you want to subscribe, it's totally free. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's totally free. I make my money from client work, not from courses and stuff like that. I won't, you know, totally rule that out at this point, but um, you know, most of my, pretty much my content is all free. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, take care. Thanks.